getting bound over in record numbers. And so they're not getting the treatment that they are entitled to under the Constitution, the Due Process Clause, because it's in our statute. Okay, gentlemen, thank you. Uh, this is going to end the uh, press conference. We appreciate what all of you. What do you have to do with Judge Hunter? It's over, sir. Thank you. Any, anything? Uh, all right, we'll take a break right here. We'll take a break on 1230, the buzz of Cincinnati. All right, thank you. Susanna, how do you spell your name? Okay. Oh, you got copies for everybody? Yes. Thank you. Are you with the current law firm? Have you been able to continue your career? Um, right now, um, just considering all my options. Okay. One more please. <laughs> we thank you everyone for coming. Every day with TV One's News One Now. News One Now. I don't like that. Again, I think it's a similarity of what she's going through. But there's a lot of similarities, especially if you look. Because if you look at the attack regarding the time, she's taking too much time. And, okay, if she's taking too much time, is it because she's making sure that the kids get fairly represented, not just rushing through? So I think that is the similarity that what's her right. I understand that, but it's not only her. Have we investigated how many, how many are out of time by John Williams? You know. Tired of paying right outrageous yeah. prices for Viagra? No, we see, have that, great news. That was not now you can finally get Viagra at huge them. discounts. Healthy so, Man allows you to save up to $500 right. Viagra. Might be U.S. pharmacy prices exactly. $15 Exactly. Was it incorrect? That, let's check that. I really want that checked. We want to know the true number. Was it 11? Or was that an incorrect report? And there's many more. Because if there's many more, that's the serious issue. So we only want truth. We want truth on everyone's regard. We want truth. We really do. We have a thing about fairness John truth. Williams in again. the paper Get about him having more cases than her. And what if, what if, what if, what if John, what if John, what if John Williams had more cases out of time than Judge Hunter? Then what? That's a major issue. Healthy man is we fast, want that answer. Easy and affordable. Are Operators are waiting at 800 We don't really, it's the court is investigating. We don't have the means to go in and investigate. And I would hope that everybody, that all the media would do their best to investigate. That's right. Well, a Judge Hunter's attorney, Jennifer Branch, she looked into it and she hey, found this is that John Wait, Williams had more cases out of time. Savings. A true hometown lender since okay. 1895. I, I think, if you look into I think the it's on uh, Jennifer Branch's website. New home, now's the okay, time I think it's on the website. Still low. Please call my good friends. If that's the case, and we're going to do fair reporting, that needs to be reported. Because John Williams didn't get sued. Guardian so we're here because now of John Williams are not going to No, 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 no. We're here because, because of the children. We want to be. Suzanne came forth because she feels like the kids are not being treated fairly. It's deeper than the public opinion. You know, I, you know, I can't speak for her. But, but, okay. Most of what she had to say was about previous judge who she had previous administrators received. Right, right. Saying that exactly right, saying that this is what's going on in juvenile court today did not just start. Right, what's been going on there? And then she cited one case of Black Judge Hunter. Radio Station. Right, okay. exactly. I gotta go back on the air. Okay. Oh, no. yeah. Lincoln, thanks for reading the inquiry. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for just coming. let me read the truth. That's all I want to read is the truth. You got it right there? <laughs> I just gonna grab my jacket. Okay. Twelve. 1230 WDBZ in the buzz of Cincinnati. Lincoln, we're with you till 2 o'clock this afternoon. And um, press conference just concluded. Uh, attorney S Susanna Meyer, who uh, had a tough time with the Hamilton County Public Defender's Office, and uh, she laid it out there. And it, I mean, Hearing what she had to say, it's like it's a conspiracy against the youth in Hamilton County. They're trying to railroad them, and uh, you know, without fighting for you know their rights, they're just saying you're guilty. Boom, right on through the system. They're not being represented fairly. Would that's you that's correct, Lincoln. That's what I, that's what we believe has been happening. We believe it's been happening for years. So everybody tune, need to tune the ears in. If these youth are not being treated fairly, if they're not get, being given a fair chance of rehabilitation. Just think, uh, we have uh, 
uh, Ben Carson. You know, Ben Carson got in trouble as a youth. What if Ben Carson, who's been paraded by the GOP now because he's a great surgeon, he is indeed a great surgeon, what if he would have committed a crime in Hamilton County and, and got treated like we hear some of the youth here are being treated? That's what we want to make sure is not happening. And we're not going to stop with just an investigation by the county investigating itself. We are asking for the Federal Justice Department to come in and really investigate what's going on in Hamilton County. What is the likelihood of that happening? Very likely. Okay. Very likely. You see, uh, we're, the, we're in touch with them right now. Yes, okay. sir. You know, the Supreme Court, uh, their investigation, Hamilton County has 14,000 cases per <coughs> judge that they adjudicate in a year. The average for the entire state of Ohio is 8,000. This, what we just heard here explains why that number is so high. Uh, coming out of Hampton County. And this is what we're trying to clean this mess up because uh, if the children are the ones and their families are the ones that are, that are uh, bearing the brunt of all of this, this injustice. And let's keep in mind that Susanna was here because of her concern for the youth. So let's see what happens from those covering this story and see, do they jump on her or do they say, wait a minute, let's check out and see if is there really yeah. a problem yeah. with what's going on with the youth in Hamilton County. And I can almost guarantee you they're going to, some of them are going to spin it to try to say, well, this is about Judge Hunter. No, this is about the children. It's about yeah, the children. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they kept saying that. This is not. Uh, well, where's Judge Hunter? Judge Hunter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I tell you what, uh, she, uh, I'm sure she opened the eyes of a lot of people with that statement today. That's and right. And it just looks like uh, the youth are being railroaded. It, that's what it appears. Yeah. It, would, you, would you look at, I think it's number eight there where that date is, October 22nd, number 2010. Number eight. Uh, it says uh, October 22nd, 2010, in response to David Montgomery being questioned, I wrote a letter to the chief appellate director stating, uh, we are advocates, we took an oath to zealously represent our clients, so now someone wants us to back off, violate that oath, turn the other way, sound like a conspiracy to violate due process by in, uh, instituting a policy that prohibits effective assistance of counsel. Wow. So, yeah. So this, like she said, this has been going on long before yeah. Judge Hunter, long before Ray Fowler, and long before she even got there. And the similarity is Judge Hunter wants to do process, which could take time, and they're saying, no, don't take that time. Rush them on through. Them on yeah. through. Let's just rush them on through. Yeah. Let's just yeah. get this. Let, let's keep this. Don't, don't push back. Exactly. Don't, don't push, push back. back. Let's, this, keep, let's keep this school, the prison pipeline, filled up and keep it going. So when Judge Tracy Hunter comes in and pushes back, then the backlash. She got to go. She got to get it. They got to get, get out, her out of there. there. All right. Well, boy, I tell you, we'll see where this goes. There That's you right. go. That's we'll right. We'll see where it goes. All right. Uh, we'll go to the telephone, 749-1230. 513 is the area code. Nate, how are you? Lincoln Ware. Yes. Oh, fantastic. How you doing, my friend? I'm hanging in there. Now, Lincoln, I want to, while people are still digesting some of those names, because I know this may be 